Time to play with some clay. Well, hello. Uh, this is a, a review of this particular instructional video that I posted here. Uh, I hope you'll enjoy it. It's a short review of uh, the video uh, that what's on the video that's located at Vimo. At the end of this video, I will show you how to purchase a video. All right, this is a convent, uh, condensed version of uh, this DVD on creating a horse and rider. And I start out <clears throat> showing how to make the armature using a drawing of a horse scaled to the uh, scale that you want to uh, make the horse, the, uh, the size. And uh, here I'm mounting it on uh, the base that uh, I'm going to be sculpting on. I designed this to uh, look like it's coming down a hill. Here I am making an appearance at a local uh, shop up in Virginia City, Montana. Uh, a friend of mine ran the shop, and uh, she asked me if I'd come up and do this for a day, and I, I did, over, uh, actually very, for two very days. When you're working in and uh, the, I started the horse there uh, by creating the skull the and, and taking the measurements simple. and all that stuff, and I talk about uh, the, tail is usually the, last the measurements, and, put on a, and I try to uh, show you how to uh, yeah, add the muscle to it and all that stuff using... Of course, uh, lots of uh, good reference uh, paper and material. Keeping in mind that when an animal moves, uh, this is the, uh, his uh, horse, bone structure moves uh, with it. That you can use to, and uh, I try to show that as well. Uh, muscles and stuff like that of the horse, as well Here as I'm adding the figure. Structure. I'm not uh, actually making an armature. I'm just adding clay, clay and sizing it. Uh, to fit the horse. You don't want to make the figure too big or too small. And uh, I'm just showing you a quick way to add clay to sort of block it in. And here I am just trying to contemplate what I'm going to do with this figure. Um, I've taken the horse head and I'm working on it separate. It's a lot easier to set up a temporary uh, jig so that you can uh, work out that as well as the... Uh, warrior's face and putting on the, the wolf skin headdress. Here I am nearly finished with it. I'm just putting the finishing touches on it. I'm finally starting the tail of the horse and I also show how to do the uh, mane on the horse and here it is finished in bronze, colored and uh, ready to be shipped to Italy. This is where this one ended up. Well, here's the segment there where I tell you how to purchase your in streaming video off of Vimo. This is just a temporary page right now because I haven't created the nine reviews of my current instructional videos uh, yet. And that's so, so this is just a temporary page just to show you an example of what you're going to see when you come to this page. There's a link below my daily YouTube videos that will take you to this page. And here you will see uh, a three, all nine videos, but I don't have them on here right now because uh, I haven't edited them yet <laughs> or created them yet. But uh, there'll be nine videos uh, on this page right in this area here. And uh, you'll be able to scroll down the page and, and, and review them all. Um, up here to the right is a drop-down menu. And will be listed all my videos. I just clicked a little arrow, down arrow up here. And it will be listed all my instructional videos here. And... Uh, it will, you click on the one you want to purchase. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, say I want to purchase that one, add to cart. And it's, it's all through PayPal. 
and I've got two videos that I've got listed here already on my uh, PayPal pre-order and uh, up here in the upper right there is a continue shopping and I can drop down the menu and click on another video add to cart and automatically you got the uh, third choice I've already made two choices and now I got a third choice and then once you get that done you click on the PayPal uh, button to continue uh, to the uh, checkout that's how you purchase my videos as soon as I, as soon as I receive notification from PayPal that you've uh, purchased a video I put together a uh, email to you with the link or with the title of the uh, video as well as the link to the Vimo video copy of it and the password now I also uh, inform you up here keep this email I send you to or print it out so you'll always have the link and the password for the video you purchased. You can watch it on Vimo as often as you want, as long as you have this. Thank you so much for your purchase. Of course, if you lose the email, you can always contact me and I can replace it. But it, uh, the, the receipt for your purchase is here and um, the link to the video like I just told you is right there and um, it's very easy you just click on that link and then it'll ask you for the password before you can start watching the video and it's just so simple and as soon as I get to it or I can I see the that you purchased something uh, I get the video out to you and you have it within seconds it is so much easier than the old way that I did it by DVD, which I can't do anymore. All right, that's how you purchase and how you receive your instructional videos or video. Well, that's it. And I hope this has been helpful to you in making your decision. But wait, I have a great deal for you and it's listed in the uh, list of videos that you can order. The deal is, if you order all nine, you get three unlisted videos that are great videos. I just don't have room on PayPal to list them, so I have to keep them in reserve. But if you order all nine of my videos at one time, you get three extra videos that are unlisted. Great videos. And... Uh, I think you'd really enjoy them and they're free the three not the nine <laughs> all right that's uh, gonna be it uh, I'm glad you watched uh, this video and I hope you found it interesting good day everybody